When growing a vegetable garden, it's really important that you have pollinators visiting your plants. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a watering station that will help to attract things like bees and butterflies. Stick around, this is In The Garden. Thanks for joining me. Whether you're a new viewer or a returning subscriber, I'm glad you're here. This is In The Garden, where I share tips and tools to help new gardeners be successful in backyard vegetable gardening. Today, I'm out working in the garden and I'm gonna be creating a watering station. This is a really great thing to create in your garden to help attract insects like bees and butterflies, which are essential to pollinating your plants. It's a really simple project and you can have a lot of fun doing it, even get the kids or your grandkids involved in building it. Let's get started. You're only gonna need a couple of things to build a watering station. You're gonna need some type of a tray, I picked up this one at my Walmart. You can find anything like this. It's about an inch and a half deep. It's pretty large, but you could do something smaller for sure if you have a smaller garden. Or you can check even like at your dollar store. So this doesn't have to be an expensive project. Just find a cheap tray that you can use that can hold a little bit of water. And then you're also gonna need some rocks. Also, this doesn't have to be expensive. You can just look through your yard, pick up rocks around the yard, rinse them off so they're not covered in dirt or anything, and you're ready to use those. Or you could pick up a bag of rocks at your local home improvement store. And lastly, to make this really effective, you're gonna to wanna to have your drip irrigation system already installed because you can connect it to your watering station so that you don't have to worry about keeping it full. It'll automatically fill up every day when your plants are getting watered by the drip system. The first thing you're going to do is just decide where you wanna put it. You probably wanna put it somewhere in the center of your garden, but you wanna make sure you're putting it near plants that will need pollination. Things like squash and zucchini, they actually need to either have uh, insects like bees come and pollinate them, or you're gonna have to hand pollinate those. Things like tomatoes and peppers, they don't actually have to have bugs visit each individual plant to pollinate them. They can get pollinated by the wind and other things going on. So make sure you put it somewhere where you actually want those insects to visit. And also, if you have flowers in your garden, put it near those flowers so that as the bees and butterflies come to the flowers, they can get a drink so they don't get hot during, this, during the hot summer months when they're trying to work in your garden and doing things for you you can help them out just a little bit by putting a watering station. Once you've decided where you're gonna put it, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's pretty level so that the water doesn't just run out of one side. I have mulch around my plants in my garden, so I'm just gonna clear that so that this can sit right on top of the soil, and then I'm gonna put the mulch up around the edge so it just, it'll blend in really nicely and look really nice. Next, you're gonna wanna start placing the rocks. The idea is that the rocks are gonna create a surface for the insects to, to land on and to be able to access the water without accidentally falling into the water. So you're going to wanna make sure that the rocks are high enough that they're gonna be above the water level. Be sure to use a large variety of sizes of rocks so that there's lots of surface area and lots of areas for the insects to be able to get a drink. Also, building up one area higher than the rest so that the water can enter from that point and kind of flow down like a waterfall, that'll create like a nice area where they can actually come while the water's running and get a fresh drink. Finally, you're gonna connect a drip emitter to your drip irrigation system and place it in the watering station. You're gonna do this exactly the same way as if you were connecting one to put onto a plant, except you're gonna put it into the watering station. To keep the drip emitter where you want it to be, just secure it using another large rock. That's it, it's ready to go. When your drip irrigation runs, it's gonna automatically refill your watering station every day. So that's really helpful, you don't have to worry about filling it up and the insects will always have something fresh to drink in your garden. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and make sure you check out one of these other videos to help you be successful in your backyard garden. And be sure to subscribe so you can get all my latest content.